Have you ever wondered about the balance between God's design for your life and your responsibility to actually walk that out? Well, we're going to talk about that balance today here on 5-Minute Mentoring. Well, hey, my friend, so glad that you're with me here today on 5-Minute Mentoring. You know, I love talking about the kingdom of God. It's so simple. It's so clearly laid out in scripture, and yet so many people, me included, for many, many years had no clue how the kingdom works. But once I got to understand, and once you get to understand how the kingdom of God works in your life, wow, things really begin to change. You begin to experience that abundant life that Jesus talked about so beautifully uh, in his word. Well, listen, there's a beautiful scripture that I want to bring to your attention today, Ephesians 2.10 that talks about this balance between both the design of God and our responsibility to walk it out. Because that's one thing that I know for me, I didn't realize that for a lot of years. I thought that when I had a prophetic word over my life, or I knew that God had a plan for my life and a calling on my life, I just thought he was going to do it. I just thought it was just going to happen. Like I was supposed to wait on him to do it. But guess what? That leads to a lot of frustration, and that is not at all how the kingdom works. And so this beautiful verse in Ephesians 2.10, it says this, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ for good, Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand so that we would walk in them. Now, there's two things that I want you to get out of this, all right? Number one, you're his workmanship, which... That word actually is the word of an artist. It actually means you are his poem. The word there, workmanship, is not just like you're the thing that he made. No, it means that you're his poema. It's the same word we get poem from. Think of that. You're an artistically crafted narrative. Ah, Think of this. That expresses the beauty and the heart of God. I mean, come on, somebody. That is pretty doggone awesome, all right? So you're not just by chance. You're not just by happenstance. You are designed specifically as a work of art for the Lord, all right? Created in Christ Jesus. Now, oh, we can, we can stay there forever, that you've been created in Christ Jesus, that you're one with him, that you're one in Christ Jesus, that, you're, that you've been joint made joint heirs with Jesus to walk and to receive and to walk in the fullness of the kingdom, restored, fully restored by the Father, through the blood of Jesus, empowered by the Holy Spirit. I mean, this is such a powerful revelation. So you're a poem that's now been set in the earth, created in Christ Jesus to for good works. So it's not just, oh, I'm just going to sit here till Jesus comes. No, you've been created for something to do something, to execute the power of the kingdom in the earth. That is to to do the things that God has designed you to do, which it says here that God has prepared beforehand. Did you know that God's got your days written down? He has a divine plan for your life. But guess what? It says what? So that you would walk in them. See, if you don't walk in the thing that God's promised you, if you don't walk in the design that God's designed for you, then guess what? You miss the fullness of God's design and God's plans and purposes for your life. You can have all the design, all the plans, all the purposes uh, inside of you, but if you never choose to walk in them, you're going to miss what God designed you for. Now listen, friend, the number one thing, the number one reason that people miss that bar none, the 100% of the time reason is mindset. People don't know who they are in Christ. They allow the old mind, the old nature, the old way of thinking, the non-renewed mind to dominate their life. Fear, anxiety, control, uh, feelings of worthlessness, all this kind of thing. And the, the imposter syndrome, perfectionism, all that kind of stuff keeps people from from being everything that God's called them to be. It kept me from that for a long time. It may be keeping you from that right now. And so I just want to encourage you with this scripture because you have a design. You have been empowered, all right? 
but you have to walk in it. And part of that walking in it is what Paul talked about in Romans 12 too, which is being transformed by the renewing of your mind. Now listen, renewing of your mind is a key, key concept for all believers, especially for artists. And um, I've learned over the years that if I can help people to renew their mind, their marketing changes, their art changes, their business changes, their relationship changes, all of a sudden they're able to have breakthrough like they've never had before. And we do that primarily through something called the Created to Thrive Experience Course. Now listen, we only open the doors for that once a year, and this is one of those times. Doors are going to be open for a very, very short amount of time, and uh, I want you to be a part of that. So would you join us for the Creative Thrive Experience course? Would you consider becoming a part of this six-week experience with me and with thousands of other artists from all over the world? It's going to be a time where you're going to learn the practical strategies of how to renew your mind according to God's Word, how to get rid of that stinking thinking and press into everything that God's got for you. And you're not going to be alone. I'm going to be there the whole time. Other artists are going to be there walking on the same journey. It is absolutely transformative. You can get all the information, see tons of testimonies from artists just like you who have been walking that journey, who've walked, who've taken the course before. Some of our alumni have even taken it a couple of times just because it's so powerful. And uh, we want to invite you to be a part of that as well so that you can walk in the design that God designed for you before the very foundation of the earth. All right. Well, my friend, I love you. I hope you'll click that link. I hope you'll take advantage of, of this very limited time opportunity that won't come around again until next year. And who wants to live another year going through the same old stuff, dealing with the same old stinking thinking. All right. Join us inside the Created to Thrive experience course. All right. Until next time, my friend, I love you. And remember, you were created to thrive. All right. Bye.